Now we are at I Heart Dino. Hey, girl. <laughs> she has five questions. How many Pruitts are there in total? Ooh. Uh, I can actually find that out from my family tree. I know there is over a hundred. Family Echo. Uh, Pruitt Legacy. That's a really, no one has ever asked me that before. And I actually don't know. <clears throat> 131. Let me make sure there's actually no one missing because I know, I know there's pictures missing, but I'm pretty sure I actually added. And someone actually, I don't know how this happened, but there were people on the tree I actually didn't put there myself. So, uh, I guess somebody downloaded some, you know, cousins and put them in their, in their game. I don't know how they accessed my family tree and actually put it on there, but, uh, thanks. <laughs> so including those people, which are three of them, family echo says there are 131 people on this tree. And that includes, that actually includes, um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That includes seven Sims who were born not in my world. Um, so Sasha, she, she has a daughter in another game and Devin and, and, and Liliana, they, they're in a different world now, but they actually have two children. But this 131 includes all the spouses too. Well, the spouses are for it's whatever. 131 people. That's a lot. That's a lot of Sims. <laughs> That's a whole lot of Sims. All right. No wonder this tree is so wide. Will you be starting a new legacy after the Pruitts are finished? Yes. When? I don't know. Um, <laughs> when when I finished, I, 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 I wasn't being serious, but I briefly considered starting another Pruitt legacy <laughs> with uh, either Benjamin or Adrian. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do another Pruitt legacy, although I would love to because the Pruitts are just so awesome. If you aren't going to be starting a new legacy, will you be using some of the Pruitts in other challenges? Example, the room challenge, build new crest. Uh, yes and no. Um, the next legacy that I'm definitely going to do, I'm not going to use a Pruitt. Um, I will be sprinkling random Pruitts throughout some of my new stories. Um, they won't be the main characters. Well, one one story will have a Pruitt as a main a main character, but um, you know they'll just be neighbors or something. I am toying with the idea of doing not a continuation of the Pruitt legacy, but a story that picks up like generations and generations after where we left off. Um, where, you know, the, the, the great, great, great grandkids, you know, they don't know anything about the legacy and, you know, they discover it and blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm, I'm toying with something like that. But other than that, I'm, I'm not going to use a Pruitt for a uh, challenge right now. Well, actually, I mean, I might. There just isn't another challenge I'm interested in besides, um, what's the name of the challenge I'm doing? Differences in the family tree. Um... If anyone watches my Let's Plays, I'm going to be using a child from that guy, from Chaz, to do my uh, Dift challenge. Will you miss the Pruitts? I missed them already. Do you know? Ah, I, I am playing with them still. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to play with them, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to play with them for a while. Um... Maya is like a day or two to her YA birthday. And um, 
the twins, they are like in the middle of their teenage years. <clears throat> And little Miss Victoria, she's fresh. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, of, of course, I miss the Pruitts. You know, um, like I said, I've I've never done a legacy challenge before, so this this whole experience was brand new. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm going to miss them for several reasons, not just because the story is over, but you know, it's just the whole experience. I'll. I'll miss, but you know, the next legacy challenge I do, it's not going to be as strict. <laughs> you know, I. I did enjoy doing this challenge, uh, you know, like, like I never considered quitting or anything like that, but it, it was a challenge and, um, it's going to be a long time before I play another game on normal lifespan. <laughs> how, how did you know what you were going to do for the chapters? Well, I didn't always know. Um, that kind of changed as the, as the story progressed. So clearly, like when the story first got started, um, I was learning to play the game, you know, learning what the game could do, what I could do. And, you know, so I pretty much played the game and then wrote about what I did, you know, in Xavier's voice. Um, you know, like I, I went off the pictures, you know, like, like body language, facial expressions and stuff like that. Um, that probably happened from generation one until like generation four, maybe. By then, I had a pretty good handle on how the game functioned. Um, for anyone who doesn't remember, that was that was Jasmine's era. Um, so I was, I was more into like actual storytelling, you know, I mean, not that I wasn't into it before, but you know, before it was more like reporting the news type thing. Oh no, no. Cause no generation two got kind of, kind of hated. <laughs> so <laughs> never mind. But anyway, um, by generation four, I pretty much had a handle on the game. And um, I began exploring more of the characters, you know? So I still played, took pictures, looked at the pictures, see what I thought was going on and all that. Um, but there began to be not recurring themes, but um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Let me actually get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, what am I answering? <laughs> oh yeah, how did I know? Um, so, generations one through, okay, let's say, yeah, generations one through four, I just play the game and what would happen. <clears throat> Generation five, I did the same thing, but that's when I kind of started elements in the story that weren't exactly in the story. Um, so a lot of you know, but many of you don't. So in Generation 5, that's where we had Jaden and Malia. And, um, you know, the, they were the first ones to have like real marriage problems. Like I know a lot of the heirs had issues, but... I think they were the first ones that had real, real problems. So, uh, <clears throat> in the game, they didn't have marriage problems. They were not the closest couple, though. Um, they probably had the lowest friendship and romance bars. But... It was partially them and partially me as well. So they didn't have the chemistry that like, you know, the Brady and the Vivs and the, and the Julian and Jeanette and the Jonathan and Skyla had, uh, Giancarlo and, and, and Bianca, they, they didn't have that kind of chemistry at all. <clears throat> um, so, and I, I, I didn't force them to, you know, like, uh, they got married and I pretty much left them alone. But at the same time, 
that was the first okay true I was pretty much okay with how the game was played but there were still aspirations I hadn't done and you know like like there were a lot of things I hadn't done in the game yet and um that was the first time I ever had the uh the the computer whiz aspiration and the painter one and I wanted to actually finish it so I had them working on their skills a lot because I wanted to see what happened at the end of this aspiration. So A, they weren't tight at all. B, I kind of kept them apart, not on purpose. It was just for my own playing pleasure. So needless to say, you know, all this stuff created um, a not so tight couple. Um, So that was one thing. Another thing was, you know, I wasn't, I didn't pay a lot of attention to a lot of the little things that happened in the game at the time. Like, I didn't pay attention to, like, um, I I did pay attention to facial expressions because obviously that's how a lot of the situations came up. But I didn't necessarily recognize that all Sims make certain facial expressions. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Malia had some really, really menacing looks sometimes. Um, I didn't recognize that all Sims, their, their, their fine face, like, like, like when they're idle, like they, they, they look kind of mean sometimes. I didn't know that all Sims had that. I thought it was just her. So I was like, why does she always look at him like that? You know, like, not that she was scowling, but you know, she just had a had a a look. And so I was like, hmm, that could be something. Um and then Jaden always had to try for a baby whims. I don't think she ever did. So that was something that I, I kind of picked up on that could be used. And I, I did. And then when um, Bianca and Brandon became teens and I had decided uh, who I wanted them to be married to, um, I started thinking down the line. I was like, okay, true, the house isn't at capacity yet and it's not necessary that someone leaves the house yet, but eventually someone needs to leave the house. And I was in love with Bianca. I, I didn't want it to be her. Um, <laughs> quick rabbit trail. Sunny Shay always comments on how all my 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 privates live together. It's because I love them, and I just I just can't let them go. So that's the only reason why the privates live together. Like uh, like like no one ever leaves the house. Anyway, um, I didn't want Bianca to move out. At that time, that was when I had just started developing Asia and and Jared, and I liked them a lot. I didn't want it to be them. Brittany, I was never really in love with, so she she was definitely going to move out when she, um, I don't know when, but it was going to be her. Um, But that was only one person. I'm like, it would be cool if I could make two people move out, and that's when... I got the idea for the divorce situation, but the divorce situation was a combination of that and the storytelling. Like, like initially I didn't, I didn't want them to get divorced, you know, but the storytelling was kind of taking me there. You know, I, I just wanted them to have like some issues and, you know, I didn't necessarily want to break them up, but you know, thinking down the line, trying to get people out the house. And that's kind of the way I wrote them. So I was like, well, you started it. (laughs) So I need to commit to this thing. So, um, so starting, this is a very long answer. I'm sorry, but, um, starting in generation five, that's when, things that didn't really, really exist started infiltrating themselves in the story. And that's kind of when I, um, that's kind of when things, no, that's not true. That's not true. 
let me just get myself out of this hole I'm digging. <laughs> On a bare bones level, I don't know what I'm going to do for the chapters. All I know is what happened in the previous chapter. And I know kind of where the story needs to go. And so I play the game. I take the pictures. I look at the pictures and I start getting pieces of dialogue. I put them together. And when I sit down to write, stuff happens. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. And that's how you get the chapters, minus the ones I already have planned out. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that because <laughs> I'm confusing myself on this answer. So 